Hey guys, and welcome to the Karoo National Park. It is absolutely beautiful here, <laughs> yet again. Um, I'm busy driving down from Limpopo down to Cape Town and decided to make a bit of a trip out of it. So last night I stopped at Mokala National Park. Um, I have a video up about that. If you haven't seen that, you should check it out. Oh, sorry, it's a bit windy. Um, but yeah, so tonight I am here at the Karoo National Park. It's my first time here and it is beautiful. Uh, I was expecting vast flat open areas with nothing, but instead it's actually, it's really mountainous. Um, if you have a look out here, it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, so I just arrived here maybe 15 minutes ago and this is my chalet. I'm here at number 22 and let me show you around. So here outside we have a little terrace or stoop with a bright place and place to eat and inside um yeah it's got it's nice and spacious you can see it's yeah, very nice and spacious a nice kitchen with i assume everything that i'll need to make dinner and breakfast but i won't make breakfast uh a little lounge two single beds tv don't know why i don't want a tv but i guess in case the weather gets bad and the bathroom with the shower, toilet, and actually a bath. Um, but yeah, and then I think the best part is the view. So have a look at this. It is stunning. And I think I'm going to have a fantastic sunset view because the sun, she is over there, is gonna set over there behind the mountains. But yeah, it's probably not gonna be too long before the sun sets. Um, but I think I uh, should go for a drive, just see what's around. Um, I, said, I heard, I can't remember who told me, someone told me that I should go up to the Clip Springer Pass. So I guess I'll do that this evening. Let's go do that. some mountain zebra. Let's quickly throw on a bigger lens. And there's some more mountain zebra, well, up on the mountain. Let's carry on up. Mm. Over there we have some clips, well, I think there's two clips putting out a piece. Um, and I guess that's probably why the pass is called Lips Bring Out a Pass. That would be my best guess.
All right, I've just got into the lookout point on the Klipsbringer Pass. Um, it's really a beautiful pass. Saw some mountain zebra. I think they're mountain zebra. Not 100% sure. They could be, they could not be. And some Klipsbringers on the way up, which was really cool to see. Uh, they blend in really well with this environment. Um, but yeah, have a look around at the stunning view. Here's old Livingston in his natural habitat. Alright, we're here now at the Royvalle lookout point. Um, as you can see, it's so we're on top of the plateau now, on top of uh, Klipsbrangeres Pass. And yeah, I think the circuit there's a circular route that continues along on top of the plateau. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that today. Le leave some something to do tomorrow morning. Um, but also, I'm quite tired from the day's driving. Um, yeah, so let's enjoy this lookout point and then I'll probably head back down. was very beautiful uh, but also very cold and very windy <laughs> so I think I'm gonna head back to my chalet and start a fire all right so I'm back from the drive and it was actually, it was really nice. Um, I didn't expect the park to actually be so beautiful. Um, I thought, yeah, as I said, I thought it was gonna be mostly flat, maybe a little bit hilly and rocky, but actually it is quite mountainous. And yeah, as you saw with that uh, Klips Klipsbringer Pass, it's really beautiful. Um, but yeah, now it's time to watch the sunset and make a fire. That was a beautiful sunset. Um, it really was spectacular. Like it first looked like it was just gonna be all right. And then suddenly wham. And then there were all these bright, beautiful colors. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I really like sunsets. And that was a good one. Um, all right, but the plan now, I think I've lit the fire. It's looking good. It's burning well. And yeah, thanks to some really nice uh, wood that I brought from the farm. Uh, so that's exciting. The wind is fueling it, so it's actually burning really quickly. Um, I hope my wood will last 
but I think I have enough. And yeah, so then just going to sit by the fire for a bit, enjoy the fire, enjoy the evening, and then buy some dinner. I think I brought some wildebeest uh, vors with, which is delicious, so I'm excited for that. And then after that, we'll head to bed, and then hopefully tomorrow, tomorrow morning, uh, weather depending, I uh, will go for a nice early game drive. Um, I've seen that there's been a big cold front predicted for tomorrow. Uh, with the possibility of snow even so that sounds really cold but exciting so that would be nice as well um, but let's hope it's all right uh, good enough to go for a drive um, but yeah so then I'll see you guys tomorrow morning good night Good morning from a cold and very windy Karoo National Park. Um, yeah, <laughs> the wind blew a lot uh, during the night, so I guess uh, that uh, cold front has finally come. Uh, looking outside, it is overcast, luckily not raining or snowing. Um, so yeah, uh, the sun still has to rise. I think oh, it's only going to rise at about half past seven. It's seven o'clock now. Um, but yeah, let's go for a short game drive. See if we see anything. I don't think we'll see much in this weather, eh? but it's worth a try. Alright, well, sadly that uh, brings the game drive to an end. Um, I've been driving for about 25 k's now, about an hour. Um, and I still haven't actually made it to the, like, I guess the nicer section of the park with the nicer trails. Um, yeah, this section has been quite boring. It's just like a, they're one of the main dirt roads in the park. Um, and yeah, it's it's been pretty. The views have been really nice, magnificent, uh, like vistas and with the mountains and the big flat open areas. But that also means it's been a bit boring in terms of game sightings. Uh, most of what uh, I saw was closer to the race camp in the little bit of a mountainous region. Um, but now the road has come into a very flat and open place let me show you so it's running alongside the mountains over here as you can see on the left is not much out there <laughs> um, and as far as I can tell looking at the map you guys probably aren't gonna see this so well 
but hmm, let me put it down. So uh, the main camp is over here, and I drove all along here, here, and I am somewhere over here on this stretch now. And apparent all of these are little gravel roads that they they say you require a four x four for. Um, but yeah, I was hoping to do this little loop because um, I saw there were lions spotted in this area yesterday. But yeah, so I've only made it to about, yeah, roughly about here. And it's, unfortunately it's time to turn back. So yeah, that's a pity. Um, I think if you do come here and you want to do like a proper game drive and see the lions and stuff, you probably need a bit more time. Um, but yeah, anyway. Let's get heading back. Uh, it's quite nice, the chalets have breakfast included. So yeah, let's get going back, have breakfast, and then I need to hit the road again. So, I uh, just got back to the chalet. Um, it's actually not such a bad day. It's overcast and a bit cool, but not too bad. Um, but yeah, that was a nice drive this morning. Um, it's nice to see Springbok, Eland, Grimsbok, uh, some, I think I saw zebras and uh, ostriches as well. So that was quite nice. I was hoping that I'd see some lions. But I think from what I saw on the sightings board yesterday, they're quite a bit further away. And unfortunately I couldn't, I didn't have enough time to drive for that long. Uh, I think I only had about two hours. Um, yeah, and at a game drive speeds, you don't get very far in an hour before you have to turn back. Um, but yeah, no, it was very nice. It was beautiful. Uh, I must say uh, yesterday's uh, Klipspranger Pass was, much nicer um, like that was really beautiful um, this morning's drive was I don't want to say boring but it was monotonous I think that's the right word like it was just all more of the same um, and there was like the mountain on the one side which is really beautiful and then like the wide open area on the left hand side which is a beautiful view but not very interesting for game viewing. But anyway, so I think if you guys do want to come to the park, I think uh, it's a lovely place to stay overnight. It really is. Uh, the chalets are really nice. Um, but if you want to explore the park, I think you need more than one night um, just because the distances are quite big. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful park. It's well maintained. The roads are good. The chalets are lovely. Um, the chalets include breakfast, so that's fantastic, um, especially if you're on the road, it's quite nice, you can just stay here for the night, have breakfast and then be on the road again. Um, but yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed that, I know it's once again a little bit spontaneous, um, I, know I definitely enjoyed the park and I will definitely be back here when traveling again. Um, I don't know if I'd come here specifically for the park, but definitely if you're driving past, stop here. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below and it really, yeah, it really does make a difference. And if you enjoy the videos and you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing uh, for more content kind of like this. Um, usually I do longer stays, but I thought that maybe some of you don't know what the Karoo National Park looks like. I didn't. So yeah. And yeah, I hope to see you guys again soon with another video. I don't have, don't have any plans right now except for December. Um, but we'll see what happens. Well, thanks everyone. Uh, cheers.